over the years, we've done a lot of installation videos on low ring springs. Now, a ton of them have been on the S550 Mustang, but we've covered pretty much every single generation of Mustang. The one thing we never actually covered, though, was how to pick which spring is right for your Mustang and what are the different options out there. So today, we're going to look at coil springs and tell you which ones are best for your car. Just about every vehicle on the road nowadays uses coil springs in some way. Now, even your classic Mustang, which had leaf springs in the back, had coil springs in the front, and modern Mustangs use coils all the way around. The coil springs are gonna be consistent as far as the spring rate, they be fairly easy to build, and they're also very compact, making them very easy to install. Now, there's a lot of different things that go into picking the right spring. The first thing we're gonna discuss is gonna be spring rate. So what is spring rate? Spring rate is basically the weight required to compress a spring a certain distance. Now, one of the more common things is pound per inch. What it basically means is how much weight is required on the top of the spring to compress it one inch. So if this was a 200 pound per inch spring, it would take 200 pounds to compress it one inch. Now, some springs have variable rates, some have specific rates, we'll get to that in a little minute, but basically as a whole, that is what spring rate is. It's just the amount of weight necessary to compress it one inch. So there are several different types of coil springs. The most common ones are gonna be your linear spring and your progressive spring, but they're also a dual rate spring. And we'll start with linear springs. And the way a linear spring works is a linear spring is gonna be a consistent spring rate. So what that means is that first inch is gonna take 200 pounds, the second inch, third inch, up to full compression will take the exact same weight every time. So every time you want to compress an inch, it takes 200 pounds, which makes it a 200 pound linear spring. Now in a progressive spring, the rate is going to vary based on compression. Now basically the way this is going to work, for example, your first inch might take 200 pounds to pressure it. The next inch might take 300, next one might take 400, but it's going to be a progressive increase. Basically the harder the spring works, the more weight on the spring, the firmer the spring rate is going to be. Then you have a dual rate spring. Now dual rate is almost like two linear springs welded together. The very beginning is gonna have one specific rate, which basically makes it a much softer ride. And then the rest of the spring will have another specific rate. So it might take a hundred pounds to move at the first inch, but it's gonna be 200 consistently the rest of the way. So again, linear is gonna be the same rate the entire time. Progressive will progressively change and dual rate will have one spring rate to begin with and a second spring rate at the bottom of the compression range. So what spring is gonna be best for your Mustang? Well, it really depends on how you're gonna use your car. Now, linear springs are more geared towards your race car kind of guys, your ones that are autocrossing, road racing, drag racing, because they want that specific rate because it's gonna be consistent. They're gonna know every time they push it in the corner, every time they launch the track, they're gonna get that same spring rate. Now your autocross road race guys usually want a pretty heavy spring all the way around, while the drag guys want a heavier spring in the back, but a softer spring up front, basically to transfer weight. Now if you're looking to lower your car mostly just for looks, well then a progressive or a dual rate spring is definitely going to be the better choice. When you're talking about your progressive or dual rates, you're going to get a spring that ride quality wise will still be decent because of the progressive nature, but if you do decide to push that car in the corners a little bit, the spring will get firmer and it'll do a much better job. So again, if you're talking about a daily driver, your normal street car, or again, if you're just doing it for looks, progressive or dual rate is gonna be the way to go. Like I mentioned in the introduction, we've done a ton of videos and installation of springs. The reason being, springs can change your car. Not only gonna change the look of the car, but also gonna change the performance of the car, which makes them one of the most popular modifications people make. And if you're looking for springs for your Mustang, we have everything you need here at cjponyparts.com.